Jason, Jason Chaffetz pressed Director Comey about whether Hillary Clinton had lied about her emails, and he said that he's seeking this new investigation into the statements that she made under oath. Did Hillary Clinton lie under oath? To the, not to the FBI, not in a case we're working. Did you review the documents where Congressman Jim Jordan asked her specifically? And she said, quote, there was nothing marked classified on my emails, either sent or received, end quote. I don't remember reviewing that particular testimony. I'm aware of that being said, though. Did the FBI investigate her statements under oath on this topic? Not to my knowledge. I don't think there's been a referral from Congress. Do you need a referral from Congress to investigate her, her statements under oath? Sure do. You'll have one. <laughs> You'll have one in the, in the next few hours. I'm joined now by Republican Congressman Scott Desjardins of Tennessee, a member of the House Oversight Committee. Congressman Desjardins, we just heard uh, J Jason Chaffetz say he will send another referral to the FBI. Uh, how long do you all intend to string this out? How many investigations of Hillary Clinton will be enough? Is this a strategy that goes through Election Day, or do you tend to just keep it up in perpetuity? Uh, of course, uh, the Democrats are going to say that this was a political witch hunt, but look what we have here. We have an FBI director that got out and laid a perfect case, really, for prosecution, but in the end uh, said that there wasn't a prosecutor that would convict her. We've heard to the contrary. What he did say was that Hillary Clinton, as Secretary of State, was extremely careless in the handling of top secret documents. He also uh, went on to say that uh, she was sloppy in her handling of documents and that she was not as sophisticated sophisticated as people thought that she couldn't understand what was really classified. But he did tell us something that, you know, was very important and, and probably should lead to another hearing, was that she was not honest about uh, turning over all the emails that she said she did, that she was not honest about uh, not sharing classified information with other people, and she wasn't honest about using one device. So it certainly raises a lot more legitimate questions. Well, you and you I, just I, used I, a lot of adjectives there, careless, sloppy, and not sophisticated, none of which are crimes. Um, and the right. idea that uh, Comey was very clear that, that they found no intent to hide any emails. They found some difficulty in finding things. But I want to go to some of the specifics mm -hmm. of the things that you're alleging about uh, Secretary Clinton. Now, your colleague, Republican Congressman Tim Wahlberg, did point out that the statute uh, that was at issue in this case doesn't actually mention intent. So he was suggesting that Clinton has been held to a different standard than the mm -hmm. law requires. I want to let you listen to how uh, FBI Director Comey responded to that. There doesn't seem to be a double standard there. It doesn't express intent. You've explained your understanding of why intent is needed, and we may agree or disagree on that, but the general public looking at that statute says it's pretty clear. Like I said, I understand why people are con confused by the whole discussion. I get that. But you know what would be a double standard? If she were prosecuted for gross negligence. If, if uh, Director Comey has said that in all the time that the statute has existed since 1919, one person has been prosecuted under it, and that was for espionage, how can you say that it would be a double standard not to prosecute Hillary Clinton? Well, certainly, uh, there's a perception that Hillary Clinton is above the law, and it How? does have but a perception. But if, if it's never been used except in one case of espionage, then why are you making it sound as if the standard would have been to prosecute her? It sounds like the standard would have been not to prosecute mm -hmm. in a case like this. Well, uh, Trey Gowdy brought up a point that you've got to have a precedent somewhere. And, uh, one case she, in, she, from 1919? No, I know. I mean, there's no precedence here. What we asked Director Comey, what would happen if she went, were elected to the White House and did the exact same thing, used a private server, shared confidential emails? We know she lied about it. That was the director's comments that I was referring to. It wasn't my allegations. Those are facts. So what is to stop her in the future? And he didn't really have an answer for that. But he so also she is said, being held sir, to a different said, standard. Sir, that Just because a she's member, original. If a member if, of his own staff mm -hmm. had done this, they wouldn't have been prosecuted. He no, actually no, laid out he, every scenario that he was asked and said that there would be no prosecution. So what is it that your side of the aisle wants done if these cases have, except for in the case of espionage, never resulted in prosecution? Yeah, well, we don't even know. I mean, we know that uh, Sidney Blumenthal was hacked. We don't know if Hillary Clinton was hacked. So she was you extremely careless. You want to prosecute based on not knowing if she was hacked? Uh, 
Well, I mean, here, here's somebody that's applying for the highest job in the land, and you know, ultimately the public's going to have to be the jury. But we know that she lied on those three things. He, he admitted as much. He also said someone in the FBI that would have done the same thing using a server in an unsecure location and uh, breaking the rules that she broke, they would uh, be reprimanded by the FBI. So the FBI has a different standard. So you want Hillary Clinton to she be was reprimanded? Original in because her if, crime. if we're going to follow the president, yeah. you want to see her reprimanded. Is well, that what your side of the aisle would be satisfied with? she's extremely, no, I, I think that the people need to Side, if the FBI director ex, ex, uh, describes her handling of top secret documents as extremely careless, sloppy, and that she's not sophisticated enough to understand what a classified document is, then I think there's great concern about her being commander in chief. Well, the, the, they also described the fact that the three classified documents were not marked as such, such that a normal person no, would not. Let me ask you a quick there. question before I let you go. Do you think that if Colin yeah. Powell ran for president, he would be qualified to be commander in chief? He had a private sir, email. I don't know all the details of. He had of a Colin private Powell's. email. He used it routinely for work. Yeah. Did, did, did he uh, did he say that he didn't share classified documents? Well, I mean, you guys did, never did held he say that he was doing him. it for because he wanted one device? It's a different case. You're well, doing you, apples and oranges here. I mean, right no, now, it's, Hillary it's Clinton apples and apples, has lied to the American people. But you guys didn't hold hearings people. on it. No, I mean, there's no question that she lied about it. And the director said we need to uh, ask for a hearing to show that she lied to Jim Jordan Sir, under oath about her The director did not emails. say that we needed to ask for a hearing, and he did not he, say that Hillary Clinton lied to you. That is not what the director said. He said the opposite. But I, I appreciate your spirit, yeah, sir. Well, uh, I sat there for but no, four he actually hours. didn't I'm say sure that. You didn't. He did not hmm? say that. He did not say that she he lied. He said that the Congress would have to request that. And right. He, I if asked they him wanted whether or not. It. Right. Yeah. It, and I asked him whether or not they asked those questions, and he hmm. actually didn't do the interview on Saturday. So he's going to have to get back to us, or we're going to have to get the 302 to see whether or not they asked whether or not she lied. But that's important when it comes to intent and what was going on in Hillary Clinton's mind. All right. Well, we will look forward to further hearings. Uh, Congressman Scott Desjardins, thank you. For hey there. I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.